morning. I'm back in Britain, as you know. This is my first couple of days off where I can get out for a proper ride, an overnighter. I'm in a little town called Framlingham. Beautiful little place. And this is where my ride starts. I'm gonna head off in a minute. It's about 75 miles, I think, in total. Something like that. And I have no idea where I'm staying tonight, but I'm gonna find somewhere to wild camp. Should be a good trip. Testing out some new stuff on the bike. I'll show you that later. Got a front rack and a few other little bits. A new saddle. So I'll see how that goes as well. The sun's out. I'm happy. Let's hope it stays out. So I haven't got very far. I was just about to go into Framlingham Castle. And a guy, a Canadian guy, came up to me and started talking to me about my bike. It turns out that uh, he's well into bikes and he holds the fastest known time for the BC Epic westbound, which is a, um, 1100 kilometer race, not race, ride in British Columbia. He was telling me all about that. So 45 minutes later, I thought I'd better get back on the route. Getting to our lunch time, I'm looking for somewhere to stop. And there's millions of places. Always looking for something better, for some weird reason. About 15 miles in already, it's only quarter to two. I overestimated how long it was going to take me. It's just so flat around here, so everything's quicker. Every day isn't like climbing Everest, like on the GDMBR. This is dinner for tonight. Spaghetti bolognese, dehydrated. Me and Caroline made it. So I thought I'd try bringing my soup flask, little soup flask thing, and uh, put it in, put in some hot water and see if it'll rehydrate in here. It should do. Maybe I'll just need to warm it up when I get to the other end, but... It's an experiment. So that's what I was going to show you. This. Because my stove, my um, MSR pocket rocket, that died, more or less. It's on its last legs. So I bought one of these Firebox Nano. It's a little twig stove. Sets up in this case. what that is yeah just a little stove and it folds out quick there you are. done how cool is that and it sits in the case which is good just align these legs see yeah, a little twig stove but i also bought <clears throat> a little gas burner thing for it this which you can put in it and then just use it as a normal gas stove so I'm going to boil some water with that now. I thought that was a good idea. Twig stove and a gas stove in one. She didn't take long. I'll just cover this. Probably be enough. should rehydrate as I'm riding then. Good four hours. But I like this. It worked well. I wonder how quickly it cools down. I think it's useful because sometimes, especially in America, you aren't allowed to use twig stoves. You can only use 
canister gas. Yeah, I like it. Firebox Nano. Obviously, I'm not sponsored, and I paid for this myself. I thought it was a cool little thing. Just had to make about 58 di diversions. You never know in the UK whether you're on a footpath or not. My computer tells me I am, but quite often these footpaths are unused and almost get reclaimed by the landowners. Orford Castle, built in 1165 by King Henry II. Cool place. I didn't go in. I haven't got time today, but I've been in lots of times. It's nice. Good cafe, museum, awesome place. ginger cake cappuccino well, that was good now to head off towards Oldborough I think is the next big stop I like Orford it's a nice place anywhere by the coast just appeals to me maybe I should get a boat boat. I don't know if you can see that thing over there, like a brown thing, which is a tree, but I came around the corner, saw that and thought, bear. Not in the UK, no. Nothing that can hurt you at all. Maybe like a weasel or a stoat or something. Could get tangled up in your spokes and throw you off, but they wouldn't do it on purpose. Well, maybe they do, I don't know. I haven't got myself into the mind of a weasel. I suspect if that did happen, it would be accidental because they wouldn't come out of it well. So many diversions. And it's getting late now, half past six. I'm not even in Oldborough. So I don't know. I might eat in Oldborough and then uh, go on to Dunwich to camp. So uh, yeah, this route didn't really work. So Ross, usually I give you an A star, maybe a B, but this time I'm gonna give you a N, N minus. I'm hungry. I want to get to Aldborough. So I've made it to Aldborough. I think I might go on a bit further, make use of the light, get as far as I can before it gets dark, and then stop and cook. Hi. I 
I'm stuck. I can't get to Dunnage this way, so I'm gonna have to figure out a different way. Don't think you can see me. I'm right at Sizewell on the beach. I think I'm gonna stay here. What an interesting ride this has been. I mean that as well. It's been a, an experience in as much as none of the paths have really worked out, but you know, you find different stuff, don't you? This could be a good place to stay. Finally found somewhere to camp. Ten to nine. But uh, I'm right on the beach, which is nice. I mean, I could have camped earlier, if I'm honest. But I was looking for a good spot, and this is a good spot. So I got a beer. What is it? Beaver Town Luna Haze, which I deserve. Let's see what it's like. Really good. I like these Beaver Town beers. They're not too strong. So, um, I have no idea what's going on in here. That's my bolognese. I'm hoping it's still warm. The spaghetti's in there cooking. I really like this little stove. The gas uh, component of it is really, really good and really quite powerful. So, this water will be boiling in a minute. Right, I reckon this has had enough. And this in here is not hot enough, so I'm gonna have to mix it in here and reheat it. Right, let's drain this. I just checked the forecast and it's gonna start raining from 12. The forecast said it was gonna be dry. It's never right. Right, bolognese. I'm so hungry. The spaghetti might just warm it up enough. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. It smells good. Really good. I'll eat this and then figure out how to get my tent set up. If I'd have known, I should have checked the forecast. If I'd have known, I would have pitched it up. There was grass back there, but I'm not going all the way back. So I managed to um, make some tent pegs and they're holding okay and thankfully it's not going to be windy. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get up early in the morning, get packed up, get moving. It's going to be raining when I get up, but there's a cafe down the road. Hopefully that's open early. Right, I'll see you in the morning. It rained all night. Everything's kind of damp. And the condensation. It's been showering on and off all morning and it's kind of stopped, so I'm gonna pack up quick. Uh, whilst it's dry. But I'm anticipating getting wet today. Right, all packed up. I'm gonna go probably back up this way onto the cliffs and along. See if that cafe's open. I could just ride along the beach. It looks rideable. I'll give it a try first. Closed at the moment. Not open till 10. I think I'm gonna stop and make a coffee. I need a windshield for this.
kind of little detour. I know somewhere along here is an interesting gravestone. I can never find it. Well, I can, but it takes me ages. Jacob Forster. So the church fell in between 1904 and 1920. How sad. But little did Jacob Forster know that he was going to be forever remembered. I wonder how long before his grave falls into the sea. I just dropped the GoPro again. I have to say, I've dropped this thing and it's fallen off the bike probably without exaggerating 20 times and uh, it's still fine the lens bit is all scratched but i've got a replacement for that and that's a, a one minute 10 pound job but uh the gopro is awesome i wish their software was better isn't that weird and they can make something good and then ruin it with crappy software anyway let's go and see this monastery Amazing. So built in the 14th or 15th century. And then ordered to be knocked down by Henry VIII in 1538. What a bastard. That's all that remains. And then it said somebody built a house around it and they knocked that down as well to get it back to how it was. Core cool place. Oh, I was just about to climb on these. This would be a good place to camp. Would that be unethical? If you didn't leave a trace, what an awesome place to sleep. Let me know in the comments. So that's where my diversion is supposed to go. So I guess I'll go this way. I've had to miss out quite a large chunk of this ride. I think it's all closed off for that new uh, nuclear power plant they're building. So what can you do? Anyway, into Leyston now. I'm hoping there's a cafe or a shop because I'm starving. Well, there we go, all done. Back in the van, back in Framlingham. I just, uh, yeah, came back on the road. It was a shame really, but actually it wasn't a bad ride. I uh, I quite enjoyed it, it was a good test. Um, that was the main thing, I wanted to test that rack. And uh, I got a good idea, I think, it, I think it works. It feels so weird on the front, very heavy, but uh, I don't know, by, by the end of the ride, I was used to it. So there we go, all worthwhile. So now I'm gonna go and get some food I still haven't eaten. It's five to 11, I'm starving, absolutely starving, but everything is gonna taste better for that. Right, thanks for watching, I might see you again. Oh, old school. <laughs>